Hello, welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them them. Before we start, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. My handle is at Beth Roars and I hold loads of votes on my Instagram so you guys can vote on who I react to. Also, please do check out my website, BethRoars.com, where you can book a singing lesson from me. And last but not least, please do head over to my Patreon, which is Patreon.com slash Beth Roars, where you can get some more exclusive content. You can get early access to my podcast and you can find out a little bit more about my scholarship fund for aspiring artists. This one's been asked for loads in the comments and it's a Brazilian artist that I don't know a lot about so I'm very interested to hear her. Não quero lhe falar meu grande amor de coisas que aprendi nos discos it's like it's like almost like speaking. Quero lhe contar como eu vivi e tudo que aconteceu comigo. Viver é melhor que sonhar e eu sei que o amor é uma coisa boa. I wish I understood what she was saying. Mas também sei que qualquer canto é menor do que a vida. What is really interesting about her is that it's almost like speaking. It has tone, it has resonance. She's not overly singing it. It's like storytelling. That's why I was saying I wish I could understand the lyrics because I feel like there is whole levels of meaning there that I can't understand. However, in terms of tone, it's there. It's strong. There's like no fancy things on it, like vibrato. She's just telling it how it is. And often that is something that we can learn from because I'd say one of the biggest mistakes people do is over sing things. I am definitely a culprit of this, trying to like make it into singing when actually it's just an extension of our speaking voice. Por isso, cuidado, meu bem. She does not seem happy. Her dynamics are great. Eles venceram. E o sinal está fechado para nós que somos jovens. See how open she is at some things? Para abraçar seu irmão e beijar sua menina na rua. É que se fez o seu braço, o seu lábio e a sua voz. I'm getting like so many elements of emotion in there where she just goes for those high notes. Now her nickname is Little Pepper because she's meant to be pretty feisty and I can see that confidence in her is a confidence that is so strong that it's like you, she doesn't feel the need to do anything other than express. She doesn't feel the need to do uh, riffs and runs and sing around it in a really over the top way. It's like she is just like, here I am, here is the emotion, here is the song. And that's, it's really a vulnerable place to be in singing and also a really interesting place. And really, I, I think this is what makes her great. It's something that's really interesting to watch. Você me pergunta pela minha paixão. I know tone. Digo que Smash. Sou com uma nova invenção. Eu vou ficar nesta cidade. Não vou voltar pro sertão. Pois vejo vir vindo no vento. Cheiro de nova estação. Eu sinto tudo na ferida viva. Viva. Lotus falls up the end. I love how she's moving around these vowels now. Now that top note, na 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 na, it's it's not super high, but she's still placing it in a really nice mixed place, rather than like oh, uh, in a really chesty place. She's lightening it off, feeling her resonance. She is not 
overusing the breath. She's just using it in a nice relaxed way. And then I love these changes of vowel where she's really going Whoa, around the vowel shape. So she's get playing with the openness of her mouth and how that affects the sound and the tone. So sometimes it's a bit wider and you get that really direct sound and sometimes it's longer face and you're getting this warm sound. And I love how she's playing around with that. Ma! Ugh. I love that, like how she puts little noises like Ugh, in there, like little breathy emotional things. I mean, there's no technical term for that. It's it's just an emotional expression, but these things are so important. That's what makes someone great rather than like, oh, that sounds pretty. It sounds more than pretty because you're like, whoa, this, she's exposed. Her emotion is there. She's, oh. This backing is really funny to me. And those things are really creepy and I don't know what they are. Yeah, I love that. Like, see, she's just saying it. Like, this is what I feel. Love that. Assertion. So now she's choosing a few more sort of singy things to make it more singy but it is these it kind of reminds me of like Shirley Bassey or a lot of Latin artists but that that theatricalness which is all about the words and how you say it and the emotion and then the singing is almost secondary not that it's like um not well sung because it is it's that the expression is the most important thing and actually even as a vocal coach even as a lover of technique I think that that is the most important thing. I think that technique should be there to help expression. It isn't a thing in itself, or it shouldn't be a thing in itself. And so many people get wound up, is this right, is this wrong? It doesn't even matter. At the end of the day, you want to be singing healthily and you want to be expressing, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> in your own unique way, and she's very unique. So I love that. Ah, makes me smile. Ooh, love those little screams in there as well. Wow, what a unique and emotional singer. One of the things I get asked the most is how can I make my voice stand out? How can I be unique? And one of the things that people need to remember is that everyone's already super unique. There's not copies of anyone in this world. So pay attention to the little nuances, the little things that you naturally do and make more of them. Otherwise it feels a little bit contrived if you're like, I'm gonna try and sound like that and that. Pick up on those tiny little interesting things in your voice because everyone has them, I promise. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.